Hi friends, in today's video I'll be sharing seven must-have Chrome extensions, many of which you might not be aware of, and let's just get started. So the first one is called Weave Highlighter, which is a Chrome extension that basically allows you to highlight web pages using different colors and then save the text that you highlight into folders which you can access through the extension window. In the extension window, you can also click on one of the highlights and it will bring you immediately to that spot on the page where the information is. And this is so useful, especially when you're doing a research paper and you've got so many pages and you don't remember which website you use for that information, which you need to reference in your essays or research projects. And after so many times, I've gone to different pages and I forgot where the information was. So we've definitely solved that problem, even with the free version. So I would 100% recommend this tool for you guys. The next extension is called the Color Pick Eyedropper. And you know how it is with finding the perfect or the right color for your images or your renders. It does take a while sometimes. Thankfully, without having to use Photoshop, this Chrome extension can quickly tell you the color value for any web page as well as online photos and drawing. The next extension is called Font Ninja. Similarly, with finding the right shade, the right color, is the same thing with finding the right font. The Font Ninja Chrome extension will detect the font and size of text on any page given your portfolio, website, or presentation an upgrade. Now, before I move on to the next extension, which I think is the, the best one on the list so far, and the most useful. I wanna suggest that if you haven't done so already to click that red button down below to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell because I do architectural videos and tutorials for students all of the time on this channel. So you don't wanna miss out on those. And according to my analytics, only 36% of you are actually subscribed, which I know it's something that a lot of YouTubers say, but it is true. And it also helps support creators like me. So if you enjoy the content and you wanna support me, please do make sure that you hit that subscribe button and thank you if you do. So the next extension which is by far my favorite is called Session Buddy. So as a student you've likely encountered the problem of having too many tabs open because they're so small and tiny sometimes you can barely read what they are. So Session Buddy is basically an extension that helps you manage your tabs so that you can save them and open them into a category and then be able to reopen some or all of them with just one click and also search and filter your tab. I like to think of it as an advanced bookmark manager just because you could save pages that you're interested in. Now again, this would be really useful if you're a student that does a lot of research but I don't do a lot of research and I still have so many tabs open all of the time and this way I can save the tabs that I want to look back on Now this extension allows you to watch videos in a floating window so that you can keep an eye on what you're watching while interacting with other sites or application. And as you can see on the bottom right hand corner here, the video still plays. So if you wanna adjust or make the window bigger or smaller, all you need to do is grab one of the corners and adjust its size. And now the video will continue to play as long as you don't X out of the original tab for that video. And the next extension is called Reader View. The Reader View extension strips away clutter like buttons, background images, etc. And you can use it also to change the text size, the contrast and layout for better readability. Now this is done by the extension creating a Reader View mode so that you can switch a web page easily between the normal and Read View with a simple press of a button. We can also increase and decrease the size and there's so many customization options. You've got the size, justification, and also another cool feature, which is the contrast with background for better readability during different times of the day. So in the morning, you might want something really bright, and then maybe in the afternoon, you might want this yellow background, but then at night, you might want something dark so that it doesn't hurt your eyes. I really like this one, and I definitely recommend it. The seventh extension on the list is called Noisy, 
which I frequently use. It adds relaxing background music to help you concentrate while working and you could also create your own custom mix from the extension bar. And they also include a timer so if you prefer to use the Pomodoro technique when you're studying and you could do that easily through this extension. And if you're not familiar with the Pomodoro technique, basically you set a time. So let's say 25 minutes and you would pick only one task to focus on during that 25 minutes. And then once that timer finishes, you take a break, which is a very efficient approach. If for example, you're the type of person that gets really reluctant to start any work or you hesitate or you feel really overwhelmed before starting any project, that way you are reframing your focus to, you know, instead of, oh my God, I have to write this 7,000 essay. Now I can just focus on getting through that 25 minute and then move on to the next 25 minutes. And I use this technique all of the time to actually get me to do things that I don't wanna do. So that concludes our list. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any other Chrome extension recommendations. Maybe I missed something. Maybe there's an extension that you use all of the time. Let me know in the comments down below and make sure that you subscribe and you hit that notification bell and also give this video a like if you enjoyed the video because YouTube's algorithm uses likes and comments and shares and stuff like that to determine how far they want to push their videos so it does also help support the channel but once again thank you so much for watching I'm Rosh and I'll see you next time